Hi, there's a Frankenstein coming out to you with another review after a long time. I actually wanted to do uh, cover the review of Jaguar Classic Gold uh, since I started my channel, but for some reason it has always escaped me. Today I actually wanted to do my review in a different setup. I actually wanted to go outdoors, but two factors have kept me in indoors. Firstly, I was receiving an exponentially huge amount of death stares from the public at large can't be doing a review with a face mask on and people tend to judge around the place where I live in and secondly the weather seems to be revolting it's been raining down vengeance on mother earth so because of those two factors you have to do with this average setting Today we'll be covering Jaguar Classic Gold, and is it a classic cheapie? We will inspect those factors. Stay tuned, the review comes after the presentation. Jaguar Classic Gold comes in a golden color cardboard box, nothing fancy, not too strong, just your average box. You've got some details here of the ingredients, the batch code down below with the barcode, and you've got the logo here, you've got the golden tint back and front, and black all through. And the box looks like this. Uh, tiny little podium there where the bottle sits. So not too bad considering what you pay for this type of presentation. The bottle looks like this. I believe everything from the classic line of Jaguar fragrances comes in the same flacon. But the only difference is the difference in color of the juice. Okay, the cap comes with a Jaguar insignia, the head of the Jaguar, I think. And here you've got Jaguar written, classic gold written here, and got a sticker here with the batch code. Overall, you've got a cheaply built, uh, metal, metallic looking plastic which doesn't hold the bottle in place firmly and as for the sprayer the sprayer has nothing on it shoots decent amount of juice that's about it for the presentation now according to uh, Fragrantica this is categorized as a citrusy fruity vanilla and woody scent this was released back in 2013 and the perfume for this was Dominic Praises. This comes in two sizes, 40 mil and 100 mil. And prices could range from 15 to 20 dollars in the States. Here in Bangladesh, you can score this for around 1600 to 1900 taka, depending on where you are buying it from. So price proposition was this falls in the cheapy category. Now that the presentation is out of the way, Let's get into the review. Now this fragrance has top notes of apple, bergamot and lime, middle notes of um, orange blossom, teakwood and base note of vanilla, patchouli and musk. Now let me spray this on and tell you what I get from this. I'm not actually wearing any fragrance today. Let's make it the scent of the day. One two three four that will do i've actually given it an extensive uh, wearing to know how the dry down smells the fragrance is pretty linear so maybe first 30 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes is when you get the opening this is nice so the opening in the opening you get that bright start you have 
some kind of citrus I can't tell if it's bergamot or lime but you do get that refreshing beginning and the apple follows soon after with that lime and citrusy chord when it dries down the uplifting zestiness of the citrusy accords die down and the sweetness seems to accumulate and you go you get those floral and vanilla undertones which makes it more sweeter in the dry down and some some at some point in the dry down i think it's in the far dry down the teak wood pops up you get the woody note not as a, pro a prominent note, but something that's lurking in the background. As for patchouli, I don't get the patchouli. I, I get the musk as well. It almost reminds me of white musk, but the musk is really faint. Predominantly, it's the apple note and the vanilla that is more detectable. And the wood, woody note of teak wood kind of stays there in the background playing second fiddle to these two prominent notes the apple note stays throughout the entirety of this fragrance that's about the notes that i get and as for what i think of this fragrance well this fragrance is actually a great fragrance initially the opening could come off quite synthetic but if you can get through that initial phase the dry down is when this fragrance turns into something beautiful. This reminds me of Hugo Boss bottle EDT. And it also reminds me of the apple note that we get in the Versace Eros. People tend to draw comparison with Dunhill Desire Red. I have actually smelled that a long time ago. I know that it was synthetic. On that synthetic uh, comparison, I could draw my opinion but as for how similar it is to downhill desire red i can't say that precisely because it has been some time since i smelled that as for the syntheticness this is not as synthetic as downhill desire red but it has similar uh performance to downhill desire red okay that's about it for what fragrances this reminds me of and as for my story with this fragrance or compliment, I think it's quite, uh, you can pick up a lot of compliments with this, provided you wear it in the right situation. And less is more with this, by the way. This is quite, uh, if you overspray, there's a chance of you choking people out with the sweetness. Personally, uh, the story that comes into my mind in from my fragrance journey is when I used to work part-time that was in the initial phase of this uh, game <laughs> when I started watching Mr. Joy Amin and obviously starting out you have that mentality of buying the cheapies and I was looking for the best cheapie for formal occasions and this I stumbled upon his review and I'd like to say that whatever he said in his review all adds up to this. He was spot on about his review on Jaguar Classic Gold. And on his recommendation, I wore this, like this was my work horse for that early phase of time. I, I think it's around two or three months I used to wear this uh, quite extensively when I used to go to work part time at a sandwich shop. And I actually, picked up a lot of compliments from a lot of my co-workers uh, there was this instance when I was working with this uh, girl who who for some reason couldn't like I think she had one hour left in her work time and she uh, she was just around me for the entirety of the time and she said I smelled nice and we should work together more often. <laughs> I don't know if that's a subtle way of complimenting, but I'll take it as a compliment. So compliment wise, 
you can pick up compliments from the opposite sex or the same sex because I've heard Mr. Joy Amin's depict a story about a guy who seemed to pick up a lot of compliments riding the metro. Another interesting story was Mr. Uh, Thomas from Frakon, Bangladesh. He actually gave this fragrance as a starter fragrance to his young son. So one day what happened was <laughs> in their household uh, it was smelling of food and to get rid of that food smell his young one literally went through half the bottle of it spraying and as you can tell the horror show that they had to face was they had to ventilate the whole house they had to open all the windows because it is quite volatile and when you have so much of this like i said it could be overbearing and <laughs> that was that was an interesting story of mr thomas but i i i actually like his choice like his choice to start off a start off his son's fragrance journey with this one because this is a very good entry-level fragrance because it was my entry-level form of fragrance that's all i can say about this let's get on with my rating then okay for versatility i give it seven out of ten uh I see this relevant in predominantly in fall. This can be worn in winter as well because of those sweet accords. You can get away with this in summer daytime as well, provided that it's cooler summer day and you control your application. At best, two sprays for summer days because if you do more than that, you'll be choking people out, okay? And as for the time of the day, this is a daytime wearing through and through as opposed to night and as for the audience that i think this is suitable for i think this is suitable for every age category except for the uber mature crowd who are in their late 40s and 50s and over that but this serves uh two uh purposes for the two demographic okay for the teen i think this is a great formal or semi-formal fragrance because as a student, as a teen, you don't have much money to invest on fragrances and this is where this neatly comes into place because this is quite cheap and it smells quite uh, formal, in my opinion, for a teen. And as for a more mature individual, this, uh, I think this, I see this relevant on him or him in a formal setting, someone who is everyone's sweetheart, someone, this reminds me of someone who is everyone's sweetheart, everyone likes him, he's a gentle and kind individual who likes to help his co-workers out if need be. This is a person who doesn't need to be told what to do, he goes into work, he gets his work done, he comes out, everyone's a sweetheart. That's the kind of person this reminds me of. And because of all those reasons, the versatility on this is 7 out of 10, which is a safe rating. As for smell, this reminds me of Hugo Boss uh, bottle. This does what Hugo Boss bottle doesn't do for me. I mean, the current formulation. The current formulation seems to do amazingly on my brother's skin because of the performance. He gets a nice performance, but unfortunately, I don't get the same. But where that fails, this comes into place and this fills in the shoes of that DNA nicely. And for that very reason, I give it 8 out of 10. As for uniqueness, some points need to be stripped away from it because it bears resemblance to Hugo Boss bottle and also people tend to compare it with Downhill Desire. Uh, and also it reminds me of the apple note on versace arrows and because of that seven out of ten as for performance it's a great performer on my skin this lasts um eight hours like longevity wise it has eight hours and the projection is around one to 1.5 hours on my skin depending on the temperature and weather conditions and the length of the projection is around arms length and because of that I give it 8.5 out of 10. Please, please control your application with this. Three to four spray is enough with this fragrance. That ties the overall to 7.5, I believe, and I'll round it to 8 out of 10. That's all I have to say about this fragrance. And as always, the Frankenstein.
has spoken.